You know, one of the best currently working creators in the genre of horror is James Wan. He's done. He's got an incredibly wild, vivid imagination. I mean, I don't love every single one of the things that he does, but man, when he's putting some out, you can probably count on having a pretty good time watching it. So he's got this project that he kind of came up with, this idea of something called cosmetic, which is the idea of looking at the beauty industry, but from a horror perspective. Right there, if that little kind of snippet doesn't catch your attention, I don't know if you have a Paul. Like that to me is pretty fascinating. What becomes even more fascinating to me is that while having dinner with Aaron and Tom a couple months ago, we also they had their friends Micheline and her husband along, and with the six of us had dinner. Well, Micheline and her husband are the ones who are going to be writing and directing this for James Wan. It's called Cosmetic. So, I mean, Aaron, let me put this over to you. This is your friend, Micheline. Mm -hmm. It's like big, big news in Deadline. They got this big story on them in Deadline right now because you sent me this. I did. So so tell people a little bit about Micheline. And, of course, they also are the ones who created the short film that got a lot of awards buzz that Tom was in as well. So talk mm -hmm. about this cosmetic for a second. Okay, so you're gonna have to give me the wrap it up because you know I could wax poetic about them for a long time. I, I officiated their wedding. Micheline is like a sister to me. So um, they are the they are such an incredible Hollywood success story of neither of them coming from the world of entertainment and coming here from you know various parts of the country and pursuing their careers. Uh, R.H., her husband, is a filmmaker and did various um, uh, filmmaking uh, internships and things like, like really just worked his way up as a filmmaker but had never done a feature micheline comes from the world of fashion and has just been a really masterful creative mind that i've always known in that aspect of fashion and she's always been into uh comic books and things like that anyway um they did they decided to take Micheline's horrific childhood, which had um, a lot of sexual abuse in it, or had, was, had sexual abuse, and take that trauma and make it into a short film about a young girl who goes into um, her creative mind in order to get away from the trauma she's experiencing. They did this short film. They had Tom Starr in it, which he was not okay doing initially, but it, it's, an, it's a masterful project. You can find it. It's called Grummy, G-R-U-M-M-Y. You can find the project, and from that project, all of a sudden, their world blew open, and they were started getting meetings and agents, and things started happening. They had a meeting with James Wan, and all of a sudden, like this project comes up, and the, the combination of his of his partner Ingrid Bisu, the four of them together, started pitching this idea of the cosmetic industry, and um, and 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 how and the the background of the cosmetic industry actually having roots in the occult the actual word which is wild yeah. which is like the word glamour having occult beginnings so i and knowing they're they're a, just if you see grummy you'll understand how capable hands um this film is in and how exciting it is for two people who just really put in the work didn't didn't know anybody, didn't use nepotism. They just worked their ass off and they're so creative and so smart. And really, as you said, nice people, nice things happening for nice people. I have known about this for a while, but I've been keeping it under my hat. But now that it's out there, I'm so excited for you guys to watch this story develop. Um, and the fact that they're getting to write and direct as a married couple, their first feature together for Sony Pictures with James Wan and Ingrid Bisu, it's just, I couldn't be more thrilled for them. Cinderella's story, I freaking love it. Absolutely yes. Cinderella's story. Now, Chris, you're not, you know, you are not I a am, horror film aficionado. I am not a horror film. But I mean, I like, we were talking down. about I know, I was gonna say, Aaron will make me see We this. were talking about this and yeah. this does sound fascinating. This, this does sound appealing and, and you know, Aaron and I are both two women who grew up in Texas and we heard lovely phrases such as beauty is pain, pain is beauty, or it's better to be looked over than overlooked. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, one of these days you're gonna be so old that those boys won't whistle you at all. You mm -hmm. should just say thank you. So, wow. oh, yeah, all kinds of lovely, lovely idioms like that. <laughs> So, so to hear about, you know, this kind of horror lens on something that is very, very prevalent, especially in the LA, LA area or the way that we were brought to of just like changing everything about yourself to fit an aesthetic. Um, it always has felt like horror, but I'm, I'm excited to see how this will happen. And I'm so excited for Aaron to cover my eyes anytime eye violence is happening. It's better to be looked over than overlooked. Than overlooked. overlooked. 
Wow. Okay, guys. Yeah. Uh, questions for you. Being a woman's great. <laughs> what do you think about this? I think this absolutely sounds fascinating, cosmetic. Of course, coming from the mind of James Wan, what do you guys think about this? Does this sound intriguing to you? I think it sounds fantastic. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of today's video, Storyblocks. Guys, I have been an enthusiastic fan and user of Storyblocks for years. I go to them whenever I'm in need of content creation assets like royalty-free music, video clips, or templates for my creative projects, ranging anywhere from little editorial videos to my very own full feature documentary. Storyblocks helps you bring your stories, videos, and projects to life without sacrifices due to time, budget, or access to resources. They have over 1 million different story assets, ranging from stock videos, audio and music, an in-browser video editor, and they feature pre-designed templates, animations, and outros. Storyblocks uses an affordable subscription model and their unlimited access plans offers, well, unlimited video and audio downloads rather than a costly pay-per-clip model. With Storyblocks, you'll be able to create more content and more importantly, better content, all while using a subscription plan that fits your budget, utilizing unlimited downloads of demand-driven and diverse content. So if you're interested in upping your content creation game, head over to W www.storyblocks.com slash campia and get started today. That's www.storyblocks.com slash campia.